Hey everybody, welcome into this week's episode of Tony's Spot on Fishing. I'm your host, Tony Krizak. I'm joined with me today, my buddy Mike Saposi. We're out here on the big lake, Lake Michigan, chasing smallies. A little bit of a rough day, we got the wind howling, but we're gonna show you all the tips, tricks, and techniques of how we can catch these bronze backs out here. So stick around, rock and roll with us on the big lake. That's all this week on Total Spot on Fishing. doing today is actually fishing a lot of jerk baits, crank baits. These fish are up chasing a lot of these alewives around. And when we're up chasing like that, the best bet is to just keep moving. That jerk bait's going to act like an injured alewife, and that's exactly the color that we're we're throwing. Now you can use fluorocarbon, you can use mono for this application. I actually run the P-Line CX, it's a fluorocarbon coated model, but either one are good options. And basically all we're doing, we're pitching up to these break walls like this. And the break walls are kind of the saving grace right now, it's keeping us out of the real big waves. And this is where all the food is pushed up. And what's kind of nice, you get the wind blowing like this, it really stirs up the alewives too a little bit. And we've been going over these bait balls, marking them on the electronics. And basically, we're just pitching up. When you work a jerk bait, it's all in your wrist. You know, it's not like when we're pulling on a, a big musky jerk bait and we're using our whole forearm, but just those taps of the wrists like that, get that bait just darting and dancing, integrate some pauses into it like so. And a lot of times, that's all it takes. Most of the time, they'll hit it right on that pause. They just can't resist that. Good fish, too. Whoa. Come here, girl. All right. That's a good way to start the morning. Yes, sir. Nice little chunky smallmouth. Very nice. Beautiful colorings on those fish. Boy, I'll tell you, Mike had one follow up on them, and literally that fish just couldn't get their go. Working down this bank, down to the brake lines and everything, and finally we were able to pick that fish off. That is a good start to the morning for sure. And what we're throwing here, it's actually from Evergreen, their jerk baits, the FA-87s. And they're doing it in that alewife pattern. And that's exactly what these smallies are feeding on. Just pitching them up to the break walls, twitching them back. And that is a good start. Boy, I watched that little bugger yeah. just come right up. <laughs> oh, man. What was he in, six inches of water? Yeah. <laughs> Not the biggest of smallies, but it's a smallie nonetheless. We'll take it. Yeah, pretty much uh, about 16 feet of water and then, you know, up towards the shore, it's extremely shallow, just a foot deep, and then in, you get about just a couple feet out, and it's gonna be a straight drop down. Look at that. Right, <laughs> but fat one. Ew. God, this is like the biggest, fattest rock bass. Look how fat that thing is. Holy cow. Yeah, he's a chunk. <laughs> it's another rock bass. There's no way that, oh, maybe not. Smally. Yeah. 
drop shot's my thing. Right at the top of the mouth, too. By the way, that's two for two on cast with the drop shot. This is the poor boy drop shot goby in watermelon, purple fleck, and copper. I always have good success. And this is, this is the key to everything. This is the drop shot decoy hook. Not only does it spin, so as there's waves, it's going to swim on its own. But there's also a clip on the hook versus a tie for your drop shot weight. So instead of losing the whole hook, when the weight gets hung up, it will just tear off without affecting the hook. So that's always my go-to setup. So we've been bouncing around quite a bit here. And what we're actually doing is pretty much, you know, we're fishing another break wall here just outside of the heart of downtown, you know, pretty much what we kind of nicknamed the, the Hancock shoreline. And I'll tell you what, thank God for the break walls because it is rocking on the other side of it, man. You gotta have respect for this lake, that's for sure. You know, don't come out under gunned or you're gonna have a really hard time. But I'll tell you what, we're over here now, kind of repositioned and, and went into a drop shot rig. Mike's throwing the drop shot rig. I'm just fiddling a, uh, a tube rather right on up towards the wall. It's shallow up towards the wall. We're just working at that first break right back. I'll tell you what, we got right on it, right off the bat. Mike pops the Rocco and then a, a Smalley right after it on the drop shot. Oh, yes, sir. Good fish. Oh, mercy. That is a long fish. Yeah, it is. It's not very fat though. That's got to be a spawned out female for sure. Yep. Beautiful. That is what we came for, man. Yep. And I just switched to the four inch goby bait. Okay. I was using a three incher, I switched to a four inch. And there we go. Very nice. Here we are folks, day two. The last day fishing out here with Mike, we ended up uh, kind of getting blown off the water. It was downright almost unsafe out here. And I'll tell you, you gotta have respect for Lake Michigan, that's for sure. But here we go, we're starting off the second day filming. Missed a couple fish on plastics already and then that big drum there. So I'll tell you what, the pattern's changed a little bit. Water's a little warmer. Probably not going to touch the jerk bait too much. We may give it a throw here and there, but it's going to be fishing a little bit more deeper rock, stuff like that. We're going to show you just how the pattern evolves out here on Lake Michigan to catch these smallies. There he is. Not a giant, but we'll take him. Come here. Right in the corner of the mouth. There's a nice little smallie there to start this second day out here. His belly's nice and full. He's been eating something. Drop him back. Now let me show you what I've been fishing so far this morning. It's actually just a, a tube jig on a regular tube jig head. And what you actually have to do, you slide that tube right over the head because they're hollow bellies, hollow bodies. Let's see here. And once you have your tube over, that's when you can tie that hook on. Just an exposed hook. We're not in real any kind of heavy cover. Just pitching it up to the walls, the rocks, dragging it out, hop it a couple times. That one ate it right at the edge of the the weeds there, I felt I kind of ticked a weed, gave it a harder pop, boom, she smacked it. Three and a half inch tube coming through. 
<laughs> That's a smolly. Baby smolly. Thing jacked a four inch bait. <laughs> He's all of about six inches. <laughs> Oops. I was going to show the bait and then the fish. Man, that might be a world record small for me. <laughs> that is like... There's the bait, there's the fish. <laughs> <laughs> and he inhaled it. <laughs> Nice one. Man, I got I barely got him. Barely hooked too, yeah, huh? Yeah, he might come off. Good time. Better watch out. You try to swing him? No. Are you gonna try to grab him? Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Nice one, too. Yeah. A little straight king crankbait, too, huh? Yeah. Very nice. They're eating well. Strike king number four. Beautiful fish. All right, man. Oh, good oh, fish. Oh, my God. You got a giant. There you go. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, you sure called it, Mike, about this spot. Yep. You need help or you got him? I may have you All right. grab uh, this guy for I'm me. I'm good at the scooping. You Stay might down. have to let him fight. to get her out from under the boat? Yeah, just just keep fighting it. Alright. He went down again, didn't he? Yep. <laughs> there she goes. She's giving it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that is a hog. Yeah, that's it's at least a four. I wonder if it right on the top of the mountain. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Look at this one, folks. <laughs> Mike was talking about this being the money spot. Well, we've kind of nicknamed the Hancock shoreline, the break wall here. Holy cow. Look at that football. Ready? Yeah. Get a quick wait. Okay. I let go. Yep. Three five. Three five. It's not as big as I thought it was. No, but I'll tell you what. That That's is a, a that is a dandy. That's a chunk. Good belly on that thing. And again, we got her on that tube jig. Let's get her back. Woo, man. And away she goes. I'll tell you, what we've definitely noticed here is a change from just a couple weeks ago. And we said the water's warmed up, about 72 degrees surface town. Here's some other changes. The alewives aren't as thick. We kind of come through a pod here or there. But with the warmer water temperatures, they're not as abundant. We got a lot more browns around inside the harbor, especially around like Monroe area. And that's going to kind of push the smallies out, and they're going to look for different food sources out here. It seems like the main lake break walls have been where most of our fish were at. We've caught them 
out, just outside of Monroe on that break wall. We got into them um, on the uh, shoreline of the, the Shad Aquarium, the planetarium. And now what we kind of call the Hancock area, this break wall here, anywhere where we're finding the deeper rock has definitely been the pattern. That, that shallower stuff inside the harbors for right now, especially with the Browns being around, doing their thing, it's kind of pushing these fish out. And I'll tell you, Mike and I've been talking, Mike all day has been talking about how this shoreline would be the money spot. And so far today, probably the best smallie so far has come from right here on that tube jig still. And Mike's had a few bites already on, on the drop shot here. I mean, the fish are here. This is the patterns we want to be looking at. Tubes, drop shots. Keep an eye on your electronics too. You start seeing bait balls and things like that. You can run that crank again. That's how Mike got that one on a crankbait earlier. But it's amazing just how quick things will change out here in just a matter of a couple weeks. The old drop shot rig does it again. Good one? Need help? It's a two. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's just drop shot, so it's... Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a little bigger than a two. They are just full of power, my goodness. Nice He's bigger fish. than I thought he was. Yeah. There we go. Drop shot, Gobi. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. This goodness. is the spot, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good gracious. You, you're going to have to fight him for a while. That is a big smallie. You, you, you got him good, right? I think I do. Okay. Man, as soon as I set the hook, oh she instantly god. came up. That might be a five. Stay down, stay down, stay down. You can bring him on the other side if, if, if he does. Doesn't matter. Is throwing up ale lights yeah, or something. He's, he's throwing up something. My gosh. <laughs> I got her. <laughs> Look at that fat boy. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh man. <laughs> four eight. Four eight? Four eight. Oh my goodness. Look at that one folks. Good gracious. What a belly on that fish. And it was throwing up something as I was bringing her up. Yeah, I'm trying to look for it. As soon as I, I stuck that fish, immediately starts coming up and does the uh, smallmouth acrobatics set her back in oh man thank you sweetheart
and away she goes. Oh my goodness. Absolutely crushed it. <laughs> and as soon as I, I set the hook on that fish, instantly started coming up. I'm like, there's no doubt what that is. That was awesome. Now what, now what we're fishing, there's a reef on the opposing side that there's a big reef just along the stretch along with this break wall that is covered with rocks and this channel, they come in, they come out, they go in, they come out, they come in. So they keep on coming out to eat. So they just, you know, they all just congregate right here and you just find groups upon groups of them and they keep on replenishing them. That's why I love this spot. Oh my God, it's a smallmouth. Is it? Oh my God. Oh man, dude, that's <laughs> giant. I might need your help on All this right. one. Oh my God, there's another one down there. Yeah. See it? Yeah. You said they'd stack here. Yeah. Stay out of your way. Here, I'll move the rods. I got him, I got him. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a Lake Michigan smallmouth bass that right there. That is a giant. <laughs> and I saw another one just this size swimming with it. And that's Ooh. how you hook them on a drop shot right there. Need that's pliers? You... No. Nah. Right underneath the teeth. That's how it's done. <laughs> yes, Is sir. Is that going to do it? I don't you know. Think? I don't know. It's going to be close. Oh my God, 415, Four. just missed it. Just missed <laughs> just five. Just missed it. So we call jumbo largemouth when they're over 15. So that missed it by one ounce. Man, that Beautiful. is a giant. Absolutely a gorgeous. Giant. Yes, sir. That's what we call this a, a smallmouth fire drill right there. Oh, man. I don't know if the other one was bigger, but it was just about the same size. Okay. It was big. You could flip that one, right? Yeah. He might flip himself in. He just about might. Yeah. The rate he's going. Did you catch him right over whatever this is? Come here. Oh my God. <laughs> that was awesome. Man, why did you get the fun ones? <laughs> oh man, he is full of energy. <laughs> oh, he came off. That's all right. <laughs> oh man, that is something. Well, I tell you, as soon as these fish hit, man, it is just, Pure power. I, I mean, if, if you've never caught smallies before, if you know all you've ever targeted was largemouth, it's amazing how much differently they fight. 
the acrobatics, they jump a lot, the power runs, the speed. It, it's just unbelievable the way these fish fight. You got one, Mike? Oh. Mike's just came off. Uh, I mean, my goodness, though, it's, it, is, it is really hard to go back to fishing largemouth after uh, a good day like this catching these smallies. Oh, man, they are a blast. Oh, yeah, I got it. That thing hit it like a ton of bricks. Oh, she's barely hooked. Come here. Come here. Oh, yes. Right in the corner of the mouth hook just came out. Not very long, but man, it's chunky. All of these fish are just super healthy out here. Oh, man. Well, I'll tell you what. Thanks to Mike, we sure have the pattern here. And that is fishing these main lake break walls, drop shotting and throwing the tubes. Holy cow. I'll tell you, if you're not out here taking advantage of these fish, you're just missing out. And you kind of notice in probably in the background, a lot more boat traffic picked up. Doesn't even seem to phase the fish. They're still biting. It's almost like it's a common occurrence for them. Good one? Two and a half, maybe more. Finally got a fighter though. You were getting all the ones that fight. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good quality one. Nice chunky one. Started getting choppy. I switched to a half ounce weight. This was the first cast with a half ounce weight. First cast. Oh man, Mike, I'll tell you, dude, that was a blast, man. Yeah. Holy cow, we caught him. Yeah, I'm glad we came out again because everything lined up perfectly. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we were able to show everybody just exactly how good this fishery can be. Exactly. Oh man, it, big smallies that close to home. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Now, hey, if any of our fans want to follow your fishing, your tournament career, you're out there on the trails, where can they get more information about you and what you're doing? Everything I do is on Facebook. You can follow me, facebook.com, fishing for miles, um, or on Twitter at supposey, S O P O C Y 5 1. So I up to, try to update every little thing that I do. I fish FLW, I fish Bassmasters, I try to do it all. So. Awesome, man. I'll tell you, if there's, if you guys like following the careers of these guys that are, especially the, the hot shots up and coming like Mike, this is the guy to follow, man. He is going to be doing some big things. Mark my words, man. It is on for this guy. I cannot thank you enough, my man. Oh, let's do it again. Absolutely. Once again, everybody, my name is Tony Krizek. We can't wait to see you next time right here on Tony's Spot on Fishing. <laughs>